Greetings, Alexei here, another update on Open Apocalypse. Good news today, again, a lot of important stuff finished. So what do we have this time? First of all, the UFOs now properly come from Alien Dimension. They properly go back to Alien Dimension. They properly update their equipment. So, for example, if you have a high score, they will have the shields on. If you don't have a higher score, they won't have the shields. And they are properly picked from the list of UFOs that should be in the alien dimension so we can demonstrate let's go for example here let's wait okay so as you can see UFOs now come like we did in vanilla one by one I will show their paths so the purple the the Blue lines are the paths of flying vehicles, so you will see where they are going. So first of all, they just exit the portal. And it seems we didn't get lucky, so we should go here. They exit the portal first. And then they... Oh, here we are. Oh my god, and the fire already. Okay, so first of all, they... First of all, they uh, exit the portal, and then after they've exited the portal, they go on their business. So in this case, the scouts, I mean, yes, the scouts, they go for infiltration, and the probes, they protect the scouts. So we can see now that the scout is going to this building to infiltrate it. This scout is going to this building to infiltrate, and this scout is going here as well to infiltrate. While these probes, they are going around the scouts and trying to help the scouts stay alive. Okay, so one probe is down. Let's focus on this one. Meanwhile, we won't be able to catch these. I'd better send this one home because ah, maybe it can survive still. Let's see. Oh god damn it. Okay, we didn't lose him. That's good. So let's continue. So as you can see this probe is going to help this scout. And these scouts are proceeding as normal. We made one took one probe down, so it's going down, and now we're going for this one. And it seems that in vanilla the UFOs could actually fire regardless of whether they had like their... whether the enemy was in their arc of fire. So all the weapons in XCOM Apocalypse, they have their arcs of fire. And this, this determines, as you can see, by the way, that we have the UFOs depositing aliens, and you can see these aliens right now. Here is the debug output, which shows that the aliens have been deposited in the building. So what I wanted to say is that every weapon in Open Apocalypse has an arc of fire, and this determines how far the target can deviate from the forward vector of the vehicle. So, for example, the maximum arc of fire is 8, which means uh, that it can fire anywhere. So, 8 is 360 degrees anywhere around. 4 would be the frontal half, half uh, circle, half sphere. So, if the weapon would have uh, an arc of fire of 4 horizontally, the vehicle would fire anywhere, like in this arc. And 6 would be something like in this arc, so all the three, three of the four sectors, every sector except the back sector. And the weapons which UFOs use are... they have an arc of 4. So supposedly the UFOs should not be able... Okay, so the portal is here, so they will escape now. One escaped and the other didn't get to get inside, so the other will now... Go back and return and escape. Ah, it's trying to dodge. Okay, so 
but the UFOs use the weapons which have arc of fire of four, so that should mean they would only be able to fire at you if they are moving towards you. If they are moving backwards, they shouldn't be able to fire. But as I remember in vanilla, actually the UFOs could like fire at you at all times. So you didn't have this situation where you would have a free ray free like firing range. You could like fire at fire at UFOs and they wouldn't fire back because they're moving somewhere. Because it was the frequent, uh, it was a frequent situation in vanilla as well that uh, the UFO, which is an escort, which has to move towards another UFO and protect it, would spawn from a different uh, actual dimension gate. So like the battleship spawns here, and then the fast attack ship spawns here, and it has to move towards the battleship to escort it. And in that case, this fast attack ship would still fire at your vehicles if they were like tailing after it, even though going by the firing arcs it shouldn't. So I think this will be changed in open epoch so that the UFOs can fire wherever they want. Anyways, so the dimension gates work, Her UFO went back to alien dimension and the UFO is there, so it's like, it properly counts that how many UFOs are in the alien dimension. And you can also now go to the alien dimension if you send your like normal ships, there is a new feature which crashes them. Otherwise, they just like let me show what happens if they crash. So if they crash, it will look like this. Like it's like it got damaged by the gate. And if it's a vanilla setting, it will just take position near the portal and it understands that. Going through the portal does nothing. And okay, what the hell? Mm, okay, I'll fix that. Um, yep, anyways, I'll fix that for now. Let's restart it quickly. Okay, we're back. One last thing I wanted to show that, yes, uh, I was asked on the video, so the hotkey to quickly build anything on the base is F10. This is what I do now to have an advanced workshop immediately. And there is no hotkey for the research. It's here, give all research to have all the research unlocked. And you can use the F10 hotkey in this screen to basically finish the production of whatever you are producing. So the next hour, this will be complete. Okay, let's... In case you don't want to reassign the workshop. And so, what I wanted to show is that you can now go to the alien dimension as well. So let's do it. Here we are, we click the gate. And as in vanilla, we get the sound, we get the display uh, grayed out, we can't click it. And we have this vehicle in the alien dimension. Unfortunately, we can't yet go to the alien dimension itself to see the vehicle, but it will be implemented soon. So, basically, next update, we will be able to enter the alien dimension, fight the aliens there, and go inside their buildings. The logic for the alien buildings is already implemented. A logic which makes you, like, be able to enter only the building which you have researched and so on. As well as the logic for finishing the game when you complete the mission in the last building and the logic for unlocking like new research when you blow up the old building and so on and so forth. So that's it for this update. As usual, soon you will be able to get it. What other features were implemented in like in the meanwhile? Yes, the weapon icons. So you can use the weapon icons. You can click them. You can disable them. So, for example, let's use only lasers. As you can see, only lasers are fired. And let's fire missiles as well. Now we fire the missiles. Manually fired missiles now properly home on the target. So, they go like this. Also, the vehicles now properly fire their missiles if they are outside their cone of fire, arc of fire. So, again, let's Let's attack this vehicle. As you can see, the Valkyrie interceptor is facing this way, so it can't fire the missile directly at target. So it will fire the missile. Okay, the missile is not ready yet, it seems. Or maybe it's out of range. 
Okay, let's fire at this one. Mm. What's going on here? Um. Okay, so it. Ah, it must be. Must be the logic that it doesn't want to attack friendly. I don't know. So basically, yes, you can see it fired the missile away because it couldn't, like, the missile couldn't be fired directly at the target, but it fired it anyway. Now let's... What's going on here? Sorry. It has an attack vehicle mission, so why does not it follow orders? Okay, it does now. Don't understand. Anyways, we'll fix this as well. But basically what I wanted to show is that when you order to fire a missile, it will... Yeah, it seems to be getting a follow order because the, the, because the vehicle is not hostile, I'll change that. So yeah, you can see when I order to attack, it fires the missile forward and the missile will rotate and try to home in on the target. This is what Vanilla did. And same thing with uh, like manual attack. So if you go manual attack, if you fire within the ray, within the arc of fire for the missile weapon, it will go directly. If it's not, it will home on the target. Let's speed it up like this. Okay, so this was direct, but this one, it will now turn around to go there. And as you can also see, there's the ammo count here, so the ammo is properly shown. So that's all. That all works. The ammunition, the icons, the disabling of certain weapons, everything works. And that's basically about it. Yes, and some bugs also fixed. Anyways, uh, that's it for this update, as usual. Stay tuned on Upfire, soon you will be able to test this yourself. Thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next update. Goodbye. Oh yes, one final thing. And also you now get the loot from the UFO recoveries. So if you shot down a UFO, if you pick it up, I mean if you do the tactical mission, then whatever equipment the UFO had, including the shields if it originally had it, will be added to your base inventory. Okay, now that is all done. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye.